Welcome back to Search Engine Optimization Online. I'm your instructor, Victor Campos. All right, so what I want to talk about in this video are examples of WordPress plugins that will really help you uh, improve your rankings on the search engines. Now, if you don't have WordPress, you need to find your equivalent plugin or software or features for your particular platform. WordPress is the most famous platform of uh, making a website. So that's what I'm going to focus on here. I have an example website built in WordPress. I have various plugins that I have installed. Not all of these apply to our particular SEO concerns, but I will list the ones and the reasons that are most valuable for the course. So I'm going to make some notes and I'll provide these notes in the class. So advanced database cleaner. You can get this and all of these plugins from your WordPress dashboard once you go to plugins add new. What the advanced database cleaner lets you do is uh, remove revisions in blog posts and other stray data. So as you work in WordPress creating blog posts, revisions will be saved, which are useful if you want to go back in time and retrieve um, an article as it was on a previous state. But that adds up. Every time you save a draft, there's a revision. There's other bits of data in the database of WordPress that kind of uh, accumulates over time, which might be useful to clean out. The purpose of this is not quite SEO related, but is that it's for having a more efficient and faster site, which does relate to SEO because good user experience is also part of good SEO, meaning that people have a good experience on your website. People don't leave frustrated they stay on your site longer. So cleaning up your database once in a while is useful. Now be careful, this is an advanced technique. So if you're not comfortable with cleaning out uh, the detritus of your database, don't use this plugin. I would recommend don't use this plugin unless, unless you know what you're doing. A Kismet is not a very scary plugin at all. This is to help prevent spammers from overrunning your blog posts. So the concept of blog posts, of blogging, comes up again. You should be blogging. And to prevent the spammers from filling your comments of your posts with junk and thus lowering the quality of your site, you need to clean out those comments. Using a plugin like Akismet helps in this task because it's rather automated and works very well. Code Snippets is another advanced plugin which allows you to add special bits of code to your site. This is not very relevant to many people, but if you need to add code to your site perhaps to improve upon basic aspects of your site, you don't want to poke around in the editor, appearance editor, of your site because that's the raw code of your website. Instead, a plugin like Code Snippets will let you change this code safely. Duplicator is one of my most favorite plugins. It's also pretty boring because what it does is it makes a copy of your site. That's not boring, that is utterly important. You want to back up your site once in a while, and that's what this does. Makes a perfect backup copy of your site. So this will allow you to restore your site in case something goes bad. It's rather advanced, but a necessary kind of plugin. So I would check that plugin out, read the documentation, and use the plugin to make copies of your site. Google Analytics by Monster Insights. I'll just write M I S. 
Google Analytics by Monster Insights. Easily connect Google Analytics to your WordPress site. That's the that's the big purpose of this plugin. Uh, it's one of the most straightforward ways to connect Google Analytics with your website. Jetpack. This is another great multi-featured plugin. Many many useful features added to your site from WordPress.com. This is like the Swiss Army knife of plugins. It gives you lots of features like easy site validation, sitemap creation, social sharing icons. There's just a plethora of things that you can do. Redirection is yet another boring but essential plugin. This helps you track and fix broken links. Broken links are detrimental to the health of your site, to the ranking of your site. Google will see this site has broken links, dead end links. Why would we favor to show them on search results? So, knowing what links of your site are broken and then being able to do something about them is imperative. Let's say someone visits an, an article on your site in the blog, but you rename the article a few months later, thus changing the link, thus creating broken links, because you might have had traffic going to that article with the old link, which doesn't exist anymore. So with redirection, you will redirect traffic over to your correct link, thus showing you as a high-quality professional website, which the search engines can easily rank. Regen thumbnails. This is optimizes your images. As you use WordPress, as you add images to your site, as you use images throughout your site, various versions are created of your images. The original full-sized one, a thumbnail sized of 100 pixels, a medium size of 300, etc. Various versions are created of your image. Well, maybe you've deleted a page, maybe you've moved pages, and these thumbnails um, are sort of left over, taking up space on your server, slowing down your website, and again affecting your user experience. So if you optimize your images once in a while, every six months or so, especially if you add a lot of new images to your site or delete from them, that will keep your site more optimized, faster, and easier for the search engines to rank. Next is social media widget. Place social sharing buttons throughout your site. So if you've got a website, WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, Wix, Squarespace, whatever, you need a way for people to be able to share your website easily. People are spending a lot of time on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, and maybe they find something useful of your site and they would like other people to know about it. So, giving them the ability to easily share your article to their Facebook is useful because the search engines look at that too. How popular are you on social media? And finally, Yoast SEO. This one's often the top uh, recommendation uh, plugin for dealing with SEO. So, optimize your site page by page for better ranking. On a previous exercise, we developed some keywords, uh, basic keywords, long tail keywords. To add them to your site, you would use the Yoast plugin. I will demonstrate some of these plugins to show you how they may be used. The Yoast SEO plugin, for example, is one of the ones that is most easiest to demonstrate. So, this is how it works. I have that plugin installed. I have a new category of 
SEO. This will give me an overview if there are any problems on my site, suggestions for improvements, other important information here that I cannot quite show because this is a real site. But you would go in, set up your webmaster tools, check security, fill in your information about your site to help you get ranked. You can go to the Help Center and get more information. There are video tutorials. Most of these plugins are free or have a version uh, that is free and then you pay a little bit extra to get more features. Check with the plugin to, how, to see how much those features cost. But for this particular plugin we also have the ability to create sitemaps and once our search console is connected we can uh, see all that data straight from our website instead of leaving it to go to Google Search Console. Where this plugin really shines is if I go to a post or a page, I will be able to optimize each post and page at a time. For example, I have an about page on my site and I get the green that says the optimization of this page is good. So is the readability. So basically Yoast will rank you from a gray circle, which is you have not attempted optimization yet red circle which is bad SEO then we've got um, orange and yellow circles which is okay SEO and then green circles which is good SEO you should strive to get green marks on your content or the second highest which is yellow you don't want red or gray when I actually edit a page or a post I get a new section of Yoast SEO where I will be able to edit my snippet that appears on the Google search, add a keyword or phrase, and then various dimensions for optimization that help me get ranked. Posts is the same. I want to get as many greens as possible. I want to avoid reds orange is okay and gray is I haven't checked com haven't checked SEO rankings yet so you see in this particular one I have a lot of orange which is better than red or gray and I have a few that are greens so these need to be optimized a bit more the reason that some of these might be somewhat low is because the actual content on the page is not very much to to go by one of the dimensions of optimization is the length of the post. These particular posts focus more on video, so then Yoast has a difficult time ranking those pages which are rather short. But using the Yoast plugin will help us. Another useful plugin to take a quick look at is Jetpack. So once you've got that installed, you get some stats about your website, but then we have that we have been protected uh, from 1,255 malicious attacks to the site. Spam has prevented 31,000 spam posts and the site is being optimized for faster image performance. And that's all free from Jetpack. There are versions of it such as uh, backing up your site and malware scanning which are not free but the uh, the free items are very useful. Lastly, I'll take a look at the redirection plugin, which actually hides itself under the tools screen. Under tools, we then have redirection. And what this plugin does is it basically monitors broken links and lets you fix them. In this example, there were some links that were broken. This was the original link. This is the new version of the link the title had changed so we needed to redirect people to the new address you can see all your broken links up at the 404 window and then create rules to redirect people to the proper content so I hope these plugins are helpful to you I know they've been helpful for my sites and my clients sites they uh, help me fix some of the loose ends of uh, being a webmaster and help in having good search engine optimization results. This has been Victor Campos.